Well, buddy's birthday is August 8th, and so um, I think it was Monday was his golden birthday. I think that's what it's called. Um, he turned eight on August 8th. Running a little bit late today. Some things came up at work. Heading off to another uh, networking type function. It's gonna be similar to the one last week. I know some of the people there. I won't know a lot of the people there. Uh, I'm running really late. Um, last week I had kind of a work function and I noticed a pattern that on days when I have those types of events I don't really do a lot of uh, vlogging and uh, for the purpose of the vlogs uh, one, you know what let's get the microphone I brought the microphone out specifically for this purpose all right so now we've got a microphone dog is still busy with his treat well, buddy's birthday is August 8th and so um, I think it was Monday was his golden birthday. I think that's what it's called. Um, he turned eight on August 8th. I originally decided that I wanted to get a French bulldog um, for a dog. And um, you know, if I could have found one at a shelter, then I certainly would have done that. Um, and I still do kind of feel bad that I didn't rescue a shelter dog. Um, but at the time I really wanted to get a French bulldog because I'd heard that they're very good in apartments and I think they look great. Um, and I thought it would be just a good fit. Um, and so we had looked online for a couple of different um, French Bulldog breeders and we had found them that we, uh, that we liked. Um, so we contacted that particular breeder, um, but she said that she didn't happen to have any French Bulldog puppies at the moment. Um, but she did have a friend who had just had a litter of um, French Puggles. Now I had never even heard of a French Puggle before and I felt like it was kind of made up. Um, but she sent us cute pictures of these this tiny little puppy and asked us if we were interested in the puppy. Um, did you finish your pinky? Did you finish your pinky? Yeah. Do I more? Want another one? Okay. So we went uh, and uh, we, we got a zip, I think we got a zip car or maybe we rented a Hertz car. Um, I don't remember. But anyway, so we drove up to uh, this place in Wisconsin, just over the border. We met this lady at her home, and then there was Buddy. And as soon as I saw him, I knew it, like that—that that was the dog. You know, I'd watched a lot of like Dog Whisperer, and was like, you have to make sure that the dog's temperament matches yours, all this stuff. But I was like, whatever, we're getting this dog because he was super cute, um, and I really wanted a dog. And so my wife got me that dog as a birthday present that year. And uh, we took him home and uh, got him acclimated to uh, city living pretty quickly. Um, it took us a while to figure out like what to name him. I remember we couldn't settle on a name. We picked, um, we went through like a whole bunch of them. And I'm getting deja vu because we're having a hard time figuring out baby names right now. But um, yeah, so eventually I just kept saying like, hey buddy, come on buddy, let's go. Let's get in the elevator buddy. Let's go potty buddy. And uh, I was like, well, I just keep calling him Buddy anyway, so let's call him Buddy. So that's his name. Uh, his full name is Buddy Jackpot. Uh, the jackpot being that he was on, uh, born on August 8th, 2008. So it's like 888, so like a jackpot. Yeah, they want to see you too. This story's about you. Now, Buddy's been a pretty good, a really good apartment dog. Um, he doesn't really like being outside. Um, he doesn't really like walking all that much. I mean, he likes to sniff around the neighborhood and kind of like mark his stuff. Um, but he, uh, especially in the winter, it's great because he basically just goes outside, pees and poops, and then runs back inside. So that's always nice. Um, so we don't have to spend too much time outside. Um, yeah, good boy. Good boy. 
Yeah, you're a good boy. Um, but you know, occasionally we'll take him on a longer walk, like to the lake um, or through the park. Uh, Buddy is not very good off leash. Uh, the couple of times that I have taken him to the park, there's kind of like it's not a dog park, but there's an area of the park near us where a lot of dog owners uh, will bring their dogs and let them run around off leash. But he doesn't do so great there. Um, he's not a, an aggressive dog or anything like that, but sometimes in a situation when there's like a ton of dogs, um, he might be a little bit of an instigator. But when it's like one or two, he does he does pretty good. Um, but the couple of times that I've let him off leash at the park, uh, he tends to run away. And that park kind of abuts against Lakeshore Drive where it's, it's really busy and cars drive super fast. So I'm really nervous that um, he might run away or try to run across Lakeshore Drive, which would be insanity. Sometimes I let him off leash when we go to Iowa to my in-law's house. Um, and usually the only time I do that is um, if it's like raining or icy or really, really cold outside. I'll like open up. Where are you going? Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Where are you going? Ah, I got gotcha. you. I'll let him go outside. I'll like open up the door so he can go outside um, and then he'll pee. Uh, I'll go down the deck and go pee in the grass and then come right back in. But if it's nice out and I let him go, he'll just take off because he wants to go. There's like a, a farm, a field nearby um, and he just wants to get in all those smells. One time we were back in uh, at my in-laws for uh, a, a funeral and uh, I was about to walk the dog. Um, right before we went out to the funeral because I knew he'd be gone all day and I let him off leash and he ran kind of around my in-laws house a couple of times and then ran across uh, the street and uh, he did get run over he got run over by the car a lady in an older Ford Taurus do you remember that do you remember that story I was freaking out um, and an older Ford Taurus was coming down the, the road she saw the dog slammed on the brakes buddy saw the car Kind of froze a little bit and then like hunched down real low. You hunched down real low. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then the car like went over him. And so I think um, he did. I did see him like roll over underneath the car a couple times. So it might it might have just clipped him. And he had a little bit of singed fur. So either it was road burn or friction or maybe even heat from the underside of the car. So that was the time he got uh, run over by a car in Iowa. He's been a great dog. He's eight years old. He's probably lost a little bit of a step, um, which makes me a little bit sad to think about. But he's, it makes him uh, a even better apartment dog because he doesn't want to run around too much. Yeah. Yeah, you're my buddy. I think that's enough for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. Tomorrow, um, I was going to do this today. But then things kind of got crazy with work. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to shoot the entire vlog in um, S-Log 2 and then try to color grade it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, two things again. One is that I'm colorblind, so we'll see how good a job I can... Ow! You got me. How good a job you can do at color grading. I can do at color grading. And number two is by the time I get to editing tomorrow's vlog, the baby should be here. So... Who knows if I'll have time or the energy or the attention span uh, to be able to do that. So um, we'll see how that goes. All right, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow. What's going on?